What is going on guys? Happy Saturday. So, it is currently 10 o'clock Friday night for me. <laughs> and the last few days have been insane. I've been literally pushing around fluffy white shit for the past two and a half days. Mine officially blown up with white shit. Yeah, snow plowing, oh, ridiculous, round the clock, pushing snow. But anyway, RC, this is what this channel is all about. So going back, getting into some one-tenth scale stuff. So I'm not going to do it all tonight, but stay tuned for my bench night Saturday night tomorrow night. Or tonight for you guys <laughs> um, yeah I'm gonna be installing a bunch of stuff on there but I think today we are going to give this a shot got a front bumper and we have what should I do yes I'm going to do drive shafts on that guy right there so let me get some tools around figure a way to film this on this small stinking bench of mine and we'll get started working on that so be right back guys okay guys here we go so i already opened it because i wanted to check something else out i got some a light package kind of thing in the mail today that i'm going to figure out how to put on this truck check that out isn't that freaking sweet love it and i lost my razor blade so i'm going to have to do this the old fashion way so stinking sweet guys so yeah officially I have not been in this basement since Wednesday, or no, when did I record Friday's video? I don't even remember. I think I recorded it Wednesday during the day before I had to go out plowing for the first time. Yeah, that's how long it's been since I've been in this basement. So yeah, snow is not my friend anymore. Um, we... Uh, screws which are in here only got four of them so that's cool we are going to be reusing some screws that are currently on the truck in the original bumper so going to need to take that screw off and going to need to take those two off which is going to require removing the front shocks so first we shall put this together that goes in there like that and these guys so there are two different screws one is like a i think this is a pan head and then this one is a flat head. The flat heads go down here. And the pan heads go in the countersink, countersink uh, hole right there. So we are going to need, I think that's the term for these. I always get the names messed up for the these uh, screws. Pan heads, flat heads, yeah. Cross thread it. Just like that. Oh. That's not right. Well, where the crap are those screws supposed to go then? Maybe I was wrong, guys. No. 
Maybe they just gave me the wrong size screws. So we shall take out some of the stock screws because those, the screws that they gave me don't fit in the hole right there. So I'm going to see if the stockers will Oh, those aren't going to work either because those are coarse thread. Well, that's dumb. And those are fine thread. So those are obviously the screws they intended me to use. Just kind of dumb that they don't fit down in that hole. That is really dumb. Really dumb indeed. Push that in there. Put the other one in on this side. So yeah, this freaking white crap we have on the ground right now, totally retarded. I uh, initially started plowing snow at one o'clock in the afternoon, Wednesday afternoon. I hit the first property which is about 20 minutes from my house. I hit the first property, which is a retirement home. Got there at one o'clock in the afternoon. Did that property and two other ones. So I did three commercial properties and it took me like six hours to clear the snow off of these stupid properties because there's like at least six to eight inches of snow on the ground at the time I was uh, plowing. It was insane. No, 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 that was the second time I went out. The first time there wasn't a whole lot. It just was a big area to cover. But so six hours took me to plow three commercial properties. So got back home at uh, like seven o'clock at night and uh, went to bed, got back up and hit the road again. My blade hit the ground again at like 1.30 in the morning, something like that. So then I plowed Thursday until like I think it was like 1130 in the morning by the time I got back to my house slept for a couple hours like four hours got back up got a phone call saying that they were planning on hitting the snow again at uh, midnight Thursday night so I'm like, well, that's not going to work for me because I need to be home to play daddy daycare for my kids on Friday during the day. So I'm like, I need to be home by six o'clock in the morning. So, and I had 11 properties I had to plow. Most of which I had the three commercials and then the rest were, uh, well, there's actually four commercials because two were combined parking lots, but yeah. So I'm like, can I just go out at like seven o'clock? This is seven o'clock Thursday night. I'm like, yeah, that might work for you because your commercial properties will be closed by then. A lot of the other ones stay out later, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, cool. 
then I will plan on dropping my blade at like 7, 7.30. So 7 o'clock rolls around, I go out, start the truck, get the truck, go to the first property. Needless to say, I got back to my driveway at 5.05 .05 in the morning. Friday morning. And then the boss calls, he's like, hey, did you do the church? Oh, so that's that's commercial number five. Um, I'm like, yeah, I did the church. So did you plow the whole thing or just open it up? So open it up makes it to where you basically just do the driveway and up in front of the building just to make so people can get in and out. Not a significant amount of, of plowing done, but the, the lot's huge. Um, so I'm like, yeah, I did the whole thing, blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, F. He said the, the actual F word. And I'm like, man, I was going to put somebody in your truck. And if you're home, that ain't going to work very well. I'm like, well, it's 5.05. It takes me 22 minutes on clear roads to get to the shop from my house. So I'm like, I might be able to make that work. So I quick plow my driveway, hit the road drive like a bat out of hell, pardon my French, to the shop and uh, get there, start the truck up, and then my normal um, daily alarm goes off at 5.45. <laughs> so I'm 22 minutes away. And the timer goes off at 5.45 in the morning. I'm like, oh crap. So I quick jump back in the truck after I let it warm up or whatever and uh, I drive like a bat out of heck to get back home pull in the driveway 10 after 6 I'm like oh sweet yeah I was supposed to be home by 6 but my wife doesn't leave to go to work until like 620 so I had 10 minutes to spare so I'm like sweet so yeah long story short I was driving like a madman. But it was my own fault because I didn't check in with the boss man uh, before uh, I came home and got done with my last property. But uh, yeah, it all worked out in the end, so it's all good. But it was a finagle of a time trying to get back and get home for the kids and stuff. But So now, here I am, Friday night running on literally no sleep i'm so caffeined up now because i've been up all day but it's saturday morning for you guys so <laughs> i'm probably still in bed when you're watching this <laughs> but yeah it, it's crazy plowing snow i used to love snow because uh i'm a big time snowboarder i love being on the slopes and uh yeah, it's just now that I have to push it around and oh, it's just a not a very fun time. And grant you, it's my first season snow plowing. Um, I do have some experience from back in the day. It's actually how I learned how to drive. My dad taught me how to plow his subdivision when I was little. Well, 14, whatever. But uh, so yeah, I do have some experience, but it's just forever ago. And uh, yeah, so needless to say, it's still kind of new for me. But, so it's a learning curve. And I'm used to a straight blade. So a straight blade is literally just a big piece of straight metal that you can pivot side to side and angle it. And I'm now plowing with an 8.2 foot V blade. So you can turn it into a V. You guys might know this, but you can turn it into a V you can turn it into a scoop and you can go side to side so that combination and getting all the angles and when to scoop when to v it when to wind row it is what you call it when you push it to the side and then so on top of that then i got an 18 foot back blade so when it's on the truck and you're in transit you got the back part and then you got wings that come out on the side that and then you can open them up and it's 18 feet wide. So it's 
it's a totally new experience for me using a back blade. But uh, yeah, it, it's I'm kind of getting the hang of it now. But uh, definitely the hours, not a fan of. <laughs> it's some pretty crazy long hours. But you can tell I'm kind of hopped up on freaking caffeine right now. I'm like, oh, I need to get this video done. I gotta, gotta get the video made and have it for you guys in the morning. That's how dedicated I am to this. I love doing it. But uh, yeah, it can be a little overwhelming sometimes. But it's all good. It's all good. I love it all the same. Definitely crazy pound snow though. And this one, the biggest property I have, well, is obviously the church, but the one that takes me the longest is this, uh, it's a retirement home and a dentist office that same, uh, that share the same uh, parking lot. And it's got like islands in the middle and then like it's got a center section of the parking lot that is surrounded by islands. There's only four inlets to this little area in the middle of this parking lot. And uh, you can't pile the snow up anywhere. So there's only, and it's basically customer base. Um, they have their specific areas where they like to see the snow piled up for like aesthetic purposes and, and uh, less likely to tear up the yard, that kind of stuff. But uh, so I have to pull it and drag it to the specific areas of the parking lot which makes it even longer to plow because you gotta basically go over one particular area over and over and over again pulling snow across it and uh, yeah it's just not used to it don't got a very good sequence down yet so it's kind of a emotional mind F-U-C-K kind of situation. I don't know why I watch my language. I, I, <laughs> I don't know. It's just out of respect, I guess, for you guys. Some people don't like hearing all that. I kind of have to bite my tongue around the wife and her family sometimes. But, uh, yeah, I catch myself using the F word a lot. But some people are like, ah, oh, who cares? If they don't like it, they can tune out. Well... There's just a sense of respect, you know. It doesn't hurt to be mindful of that kind of stuff every now and then. But I get their point too. It's a free country. Use whatever language you want to use. But... I'm getting the right screws here. This thing is going to look so sweet, guys. Hopefully, you can see what the heck I'm doing. It's kind of poor camera angle, to tell you the truth. driver bits are starting to tick me off. They're not staying in my little driver tip anymore. There we go. Put that back in there. They're supposed to be held in by a magnet, but that magnet is getting kind of weak. Alright, now we gotta line all these up.
is kind of crappy. That is not the right length. Hmm. Guess we shall see how this works. Now it does pull tight, so that's good. So stinking sweet, guys. This might be kind of a boring video for some of you guys just because, number one, my filming technique is kind of poor. Still trying to work out this bigger scale camera angle kind of stuff. Dun dun dun. Yeah, that's looking so sweet. And now. We shall stick the shocks back on. Twenty one minutes. Oh, this is going to be a really boring video. Dun, dun, dun. Hmm. I think I wouldn't go on this one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't think I used the right screw on that one, but... Oh, I know why. I forgot to put my spacer in there. Duh. That's why it seemed long. That's what she said? Ha! Alrighty. Let's throw that in there. Just... Like that. Now we can screw it together. spacer which probably fell on the floor uh, but be right back guys all right and we are back it was right in front of my face might have to get my vision checked because literally it was right out in front of my face and I didn't see it. <laughs> it's probably a side effect from looking at all that bright ass white shit all for the past two and a half days. Ridiculous. Actually, I think it was only two days, but when you worked as many hours as I did in the last two days, they all kind of messed together. <laughs> kind of crazy. There we go, guys. That is looking pretty sweet. 
I will say I wish it was raked forward a little bit more, but definitely looks better than the stocker. Hell yeah, look at that. So cool. So cool. So yeah. That is that in a nutshell, guys. Don't think I'm gonna get to the drive shafts today, but do got some new drive shafts. Um, got new steering linkage that I'm gonna put on it. Got two new servos, one for mine, one for dad's. Got a new motor. Got a bunch of lights. So definitely lots of stuff going on to this guy. So that is going to wrap this video up today, guys. Sorry if it was a little uh, dull just putting a bumper on, but hey, I had fun. <laughs> but there's going to be more stuff going on tonight for the bench night Saturday night. So stay tuned for that. 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. We will see you there. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button and the bell so you get notified. And we'll see you later. Take it easy, guys.